this is Candy with Eyes to Jesus.blogspot.com and I am currently stalking the Amazon delivery man on my cell phone where I am awaiting a package that I am extremely excited about and it is only six stops away. All right, uh, tracking on my phone, he is now two stops away. Unless you think I'm just staring at my phone and waiting, I just have it on the map tracking uh, the delivery person while I wait. Uh, and meanwhile, I am just doing a Bible study. So this is Saturday, and uh, I don't have any plans of going out today. So today I thought it would be a good time to get in some extra Bible study and to have fun with my new planner that is two stops away. And it is here. The time is 1237. So uh, that's fabulous. I didn't have to wait too long. And uh, very excited. So let's get into this. Let's do this unboxing or unpackaging. It feels like there's a box inside. So unpackaging and unboxing. So got my pretty scissors here. These are the mom scissors. They go in the mom drawer in the kitchen, and these are for the mom. All right, we have done the depackaging, so now we shall do the unboxing. Got the plastic off the box. Now, let's see how this box is closed. And it's a box, inside a box. <laughs> yeah. All right, opening the box that was inside the box. Oh my gosh. I can't even see it yet, but I can feel it. And it feels amazing. It's in this nice bag. Oh, oh dear. Oh, the leather feels great. This is genuine leather, real leather. Oh, wow. Wow, it smells like such a good leather. Oh, take a look at this. This is a genuine cowhide leather and it's pebbled. And if you've watched my uh, planner videos very much, then you know that my favorite is pebbled leather. Oh, wow. Um, one of uh, the ladies in one of the planner groups I made on Facebook said that she got one of these, but hers is in the pocket size, and I don't know what color hers is, but she had talked about how the leather just felt like the uh, Daytimer Malibu leather, which is uh, one of my very favorite leathers. And I'm gonna grab my Daytimer Malibu and let's take a look. All right, it's got it on my lap. Let me close it here. So. Daytimer Malibu in the personal or portable size. Uh, <laughs> these are not available anymore. Good luck finding them. Uh, but here's this. Here's this. And uh, these are both personal size. Uh, Daytimer calls it portable size, but they're both personal size, same as Filofax Personal. And I'm going to say it kind of feels like the Malibu pebbled leather, but nicer. It's more buttery and more floppy, which I absolutely adore. So this is the mystery planner. Uh, so while uh, we look at this planner together, uh, how about you try to uh, guess uh, what type of planner you think this is, if you are a planner girl and into this type of thing. All right, so we got a nice snap closure. The snap is gold, that's nice, that's a nice touch. And this is a color I picked out, black on the outside, and I wanted red on the inside. Uh, red is my favorite color, but lately I've been wanting a black planner, so I ordered this black on the outside, red on the inside, and I wanted pebbled leather. And that's what I have, oh my goodness. It feels amazing. Okay, so going inside, let's take a look at these front pockets. One, two, three, four card slots. These feel pretty good. Seeing uh, how deep they go down. Let me pop this on my lap. All right, uh, they go down pretty deep. So 
I want to be careful that I don't lose things in here. These card slots go all the way down from what I can tell. My fingers go all the way in and I still find no bottom, uh, which is fine. There are a lot of planners like that. So that's something to keep in mind. And then one, two, three side pockets. I love side pockets. And look, look how flexible this leather is. These pockets are easy to get into. They're not, you know, squeeze in. Maybe I can get a business card in there. No, I can actually open them up and get my fingers in there and grab whatever items I put in here. And I love that three. Wow, I like that a lot. And then we got a nice leather ring protector. So for those who are uh, annoyed by uh, ring indentations going inside their planner, here's a ring protector. And this is removable too, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit. And also the rings are removable and replaceable. Um, it looks like it takes a small Phillips head screwdriver and the rings are just screwed in with these little Phillips head screwdrivers. So that's pretty easy to take care of. Uh, so I can change out the rings if I want. The ring diameter, by the way, is 30.5 millimeters. Translating that into inches, that's just a little bit less than inch and a quarter. So that is fabulous. So we looked at the front pockets. We looked at the ring protector. I shared with you how the rings are removable and replaceable and their diameter. Here's something else that I've been very excited about with this planner. Any guesses yet what kind of planner this is? We got a full size back pocket. And you know, I love that in personal planners because you can take a regular sheet of paper, regular full size sheet of paper, and if you need it in your planner for a time, you just fold it in half once and it fits right in here. I love that. Such versatility in a smaller size planner. Now, look at this. It's got cute. Okay, so it's got a piece of paper on the front. It almost looks like a craft paper, uh, kind of a lighter colored craft paper. And I turn that page and we have a genuine leather fly leaf. And this fly leaf has an elasticized, is it? Yes, an elasticized pen loop on it. And that's nice because this planner itself only comes with one pen loop, which is here on the back. But if you use a leather fly leaf, you have a second pen loop. Now, if you want more room in your rings or you're not into the leather fly leaf, you can just remove it and you will still have your one built in pen loop. All right? And if I turn to the other side, one, two, three, there are three card slots on the inside of this genuine leather fly leaf. So I have even more places to put cards or little stickers or a place to keep like whole reinforcement stickers, Avery dots, Avery labels, flags, things like that. And this comes with paper and it looks like, oh my, a lot of paper. And this paper is just memo paper or note paper. Uh, there's little symbols or icons at the top so you can circle what kind of weather you're having for the day. And then we got little days of the week so you can shade in which day it is of the week. And then it's got uh, memo number or memo NO, I'm assuming that's number. And then date, so you put in the date and then you have all these lines. So you can use this as a day on one page for planning. Uh, you can just use this as note paper, as a to-do list for journaling. Uh, and this came free with the planner. And oh my goodness, look at all that. And then, then they are, of course, double-sided. And I like the page thickness. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin. And I don't like really thick paper in my planners because it bulks out my rings. And since I don't do a whole lot with uh, stickers or um, flares or felt tip markers, uh, I don't need to worry about bleed through anyways. But this is a pretty good quality paper while not being too thick. So I like that it's not going to bulk up the rings. All right, so past those, we got the other um, ring protector here so that uh, if you don't want gaps in your leather, you can have this on to protect that. And this ring protector, let me see. Uh, let's remove these inserts. So I just have this on my lap. The ring protectors look like they're built in, but I already know because I studied this planner quite a bit before I got it that they are removable. And then the ring protectors can be removed if you want. Uh, let me see if I can show you. They're just held in there elasticized. 
Uh, if they're jammed in there pretty good, you might need to get out a Phillips screwdriver and take off the rings. That might be easier to get the uh, ring protectors off that way. And so far, I'm fine with the ring protectors being here. However, I also have never minded uh, ring gaps in my planner. Uh, but if these get in my way or cause uh, undue bulk, then I'll go ahead and take them off. Otherwise, I'll just leave them here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use the leather fly leaf or not. Uh, it is very pretty, so uh, I'll probably have to play around with this planner and set it up, and then I'll see. If I have enough room in the rings, then I'll use it. But if it's at all taking up room that I would like for other things, then I'd probably just set it to the side for a possible future use, or maybe even in another planner. Because I'm fine with one pen loop. Uh, I can always just clip in my second pen, which is how I've been doing it in uh, my Filofax Maldens anyways. Okay, now let's take a look at the back pockets. So the back pockets, let's see, one, two. So I have two beautiful pocket card slots here. Those are gorgeous. And then we got a zipper pocket. So let's unzip that. It doesn't need to be gusseted because the leather is so flexible it's easy to open up. So you can put change in here and you can still open it up nice and wide to look at what change you have in there so that you can get out your change. Uh, the zipper pull is nice. It is also gold and this is a nice touch. The Filofax uh, Classic Croc does this too with their zipper which is nice. We have a little leather flap here that goes over the zipper so that your zipper will not indent indent or scratch whatever inserts or whatever you have right here. This little leather is going to make sure that your zipper doesn't damage whatever you put in the planner. And I love that touch. And it doesn't take a whole lot of effort for planner manufacturers to just put on a little thing of leather like that. So I don't know why more planner manufacturers don't do that. So here we go. I love the pockets. Look at that. Card slots, three side pockets, more card slots, a nice zipper pocket, and my favorite, oh, look at this beauty. So, what is your guess, my friends? What kind of planner is this, and how much did it cost? Well, maybe you're guessing this is a Vanderspec or a Gilio, and it is not. However, I did have fun going to both the Vanderspec and Gilio websites and uh, picking out or designing a planner as close to this as I could, near identical. And uh, it was, uh, and then I converted the euros into US dollars and it was saying that the, uh, a Giglio or a Vanderspeck comparable to this would be in the high $200. Well, I only spent uh, $56 on this with free shipping and this is genuine leather and I got this off of Amazon. And what kind of planner is this? I don't know quite how to pronounce this, but it's a Moterm. Now, last I looked, when I ordered this specific one, there was only two left, so I got one of the two. And then when I checked yesterday, someone else had got the other one, and I don't see that these have been relisted yet. There are these in other colors. There's some where it's like uh, a gray on the outside and an orange on the inside. Uh, my second favorite one uh, is like a red on the outside and uh, a beige on the inside. Or if you like croco prints, uh, last time I looked they had a couple different ones like a coffee shade I believe and a khaki shade of this in croco print. And last I checked those had the most in stock. Uh, so you can get this in croco print or you can get this with this nice pebbled leather, both as far as I know are genuine leather. I know for a fact this is. And uh, yeah, I really like this. The pockets are fabulous. Uh, I wanted something that looked more basic, just a basic closure on the front. And uh, I wanted something though that had a bit of a smaller footprint than the uh, Daytimer Malibu, but had similar leather. So you can see we have a bit of a smaller footprint, but it still fits the exact same size inserts. See the Malibu, kind of have all this extra room, all this extra overhang that uh, you don't necessarily need. So with this one, it's going to be uh, smaller, and that's fabulous. So I am going to uh, set this up, and then uh, I will uh, click back on in a moment. And I'm not going to give you a full planner tour, because I do that each month. But uh, yeah, we'll just do a quick little um, tour or flip through or quick observation on how this is going to look with my 
setup. And my Malibu has one inch rings. Well, now I'm going up to almost inch and a quarter. So that's fabulous. All right, and I am back and I set up into this beautiful Moterm uh, Genuine Leather Planner, which is comparable uh, to uh, the Giglios and the Vanderspecks, but uh, is three to four times cheaper. Uh, I also wanted to just really emphasize this leather feels great. It is soft. It is not a structured planner. Um, oh, and it smells good. It smells better than Malibu leather. It's an amazing, amazingly good smelling leather. Uh, as for floppy wise, uh, this is more flap floppy than the Daytimer Malibu. It's more floppy than Franklin Covey Marbella and is more floppy than Filofax Malden. And I love unstructured floppy planners because then I control how much structure it has or it doesn't have. And uh, so if you wanted to add more structure to the cover on this, for example, uh, for example, let's say you wanted a stiffer front cover, then inside the so one of the side pockets you could just slip in some cardstock or even a little bit of chipboard. So uh, how you stuff the pockets and what you put in them uh, will also help dictate how much structure you have here and how well it sits. So yeah, I wanted a basic black planner, but I wanted a nice pebbled leather and a pop of red on the inside. So this is set up very nicely. The almost inch and a quarter rings uh, feel luxurious to me. Uh, the tabs and the pages do come up about to the end. That's actually how I like it. That's my favorite footprint. But if that bothers you, remember these rings are removable. So you could take out these 30.5 millimeter rings, which are almost an inch and a quarter, and you can just put in one inch rings. You can put in three quarter inch rings. Uh, the smaller rings you put in here, a bit of a wider footprint you're going to get. So that's something to consider, especially if you like uh, smaller rings and wider footprints. I prefer bigger rings and more narrow footprints. Here's what the back looks like, by the way. All right, so my setup in here is fabulous uh, for me. Uh, I do have two pens here. Uh, however, I'm only using the pen loop that came on the planner. I removed the leather, the leather fly leaf. I did not need the additional card slots. And while the pen loop on it was nice, I didn't want it bulking up my rings because I have this baby stuffed. Uh, which is how I like my planners. Um, I also removed the ring protectors because they got in my way and really I like how this looks better without the ring protectors. So the ring protectors, they're elasticized on the sides so uh, you can just slip them off around the rings. It's a workout. Um, but uh, yeah, I did not want the ring protectors so I removed those. So yeah, I'm not using the leather fly leaf currently and I'm currently not using the ring protectors and I'm currently not using any of the paper inserts that came with it uh, that, that stack of papers are going into my stash of extra filler paper so that'll combine with the other uh, extra filler paper that I have uh, from like final facts planners and whatnot and I have a lot of filler paper to last me a long time and that is fabulous because I do use filler paper all right so let me just show you how I got this set up a little bit uh, since I don't have a second pen loop in here as I didn't use a leather fly leaf, I just clipped my second pen on the strap and uh, it actually stays. The thickness of the strap is just right with my pen clip, so uh, it's staying and not getting in my, my way. So that's just kind of kind of hang out on the side here. And then in the front here, so you can see the floppiness, how it just kind of wants to hang. I love floppy planners. All right, so I have, of course, my typical welcome page slash dashboard here in the front that I've been using for a while. Uh, the four card slots, since they go all the way down, I didn't want to put any of my really good cards into it just in case. And further, when I did try my cards in them, I just didn't like how the planner sat when it was closed. So I decided, well, let's use them just as a little bit of decoration. So I put in uh, four uh, Tim Holtz journaling cards, the small ones. And then inside this first side pocket, I have a little bit of spending cash. Inside the second side pocket, I have a large uh, Tim Holtz journaling card. And then in there with that are some checks and then a plastic pocket where I keep some of my extra cards and stuff that I like to keep with me but that I don't use very often. 
And then inside this third slot here, I have another Tim Holtz journaling card poking out. And I just stick odds and ends. I like to have a little odds and ends pocket of just this and that. So that will just be going in there with that. So that's how the front matter is set up. Now, to show you how well uh, the page is sitting here, I'm using a Franklin Covey Day and Two page inserts, but I have them trimmed down to personal size. Uh, so here's how my inserts sit in this planner. This is one of my favorite parts about the footprint of this planner is to uh, see how far out the pages go and how close they are to the edges. I do like that because I feel like I don't have wasted space. There's just a bit of an edge from the pages and I like that. Um, as to where the Franklin Covey compact binders, which is their version of personal size, their binders have a wide footprint, so I would have a lot more space sticking out, which is fine if it's decorated like the Planner Love, uh, Franklin Clever Planner Love binders. They have the polka dots, and that actually makes it cute. That's also a place where maybe you can uh, stick on a little uh, insert that you can create for that planner that has little sticky notes on it, then the extra sides that stick out and the wider binders like a Franklin Covey you could have a set of notes you know little note pages that you can take off and little sticky notes that you can use so but I like with uh, this Moterm uh, it's a nice narrow footprint I don't have a whole bunch of extra space hanging out on the other sides of the pages so that's pretty awesome okay going to the back uh, because I'm not using the front card slots for my main cards, I just stuck in a plastic credit card insert that I had, and I have that in the back, and I just have my main cards in there. And then right after that is a page lifter, and uh, I did not use a Franklin Covey page lifter because that would mess with the pen loop, and it's a bit wide for this of a footprint. This is a cheap off-brand page lifter that I got, I don't know when, with some uh, generic planner that I had gotten, and it's a narrow page lifter. So uh, it doesn't even come out all the way to my other pages and whatnot, but it works. It does its job, and it does not make any contact whatsoever with my pen loop. So it's not pushing against that and making my rings want to go uh, all askew uh, and sit weird. Okay, and then in the back matter, in the top pocket is my Avery uh, dots and Avery labels. In the bottom pocket are my whole reinforcement stickers. And inside the zipper pocket is where I keep some loose change. Now, going for the uh, top pocket, the top fold-out pocket, I just have on each side, I just have little stacks of extra filler paper because I always like to have extra paper with me. And then when I get bills in the mail that are waiting to be paid, I will just put them inside this pocket as well. And that's probably the main use I'm going to use for that pocket. But like I said earlier in this video, I also love that big open pocket because there's sometimes I might get a full letter size sheet of paper when I'm out and about that I need to process or keep for a while. So now when I, that happens, I can just fold it in half and stick it in the back pocket. So I can put it in my planner. I don't have to fold it into fourth or even smaller and jam it into a side pocket. I just have to fold it in half once and stick it back here. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, this planner is pretty close to the pictures that I was looking at on Amazon, but I thought the pictures were gorgeous. It's actually more gorgeous in real life. One of the other things I'm liking about the unstructured leather is the leather is wanting to start bending over the pages a bit. I absolutely love that look. So if you're into genuine pebbled leather that smells amazing and you like floppy unstructured planners, uh, and uh, you like the big open pop pocket at the back, but you're not willing to shell out hundreds of dollars for a Gilio or a Vanderspec. You might want to look up Moterm on Amazon, see if they still have anything in stock. Hopefully they will restock. Uh, and like I said, you can get it in this nice pebbled leather or you can get it in a croco. And uh, last I looked, they do have various different colors. And uh, yeah, I would say this was more than worth the money, and this was only $56 with free shipping. Have a blessed day.